In this video, we'll be talking about investing on minimum wage. And if you check these statistics right now, minimum wage is currently at around $7.25, which is definitely not a lot of money. And you may be watching this video and maybe you're making minimum wage right now. And maybe you still want to be able to invest some money into stocks or crypto or something else. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about investing while you're making minimum wage. Now, this minimum wage rate depends on the state that you're in because I know that in some states it's over $10, in some it will be less, but the cost of living will also be adjusted. So minimum wage is really just the minimum wage and definitely not a lot of money regardless of where you're living. Now, before I go any further in this video, I will just say that if you're making minimum wage right now, the first thing that you need to be looking at is to making more money. And this could be by getting a better job or getting a second job or starting a side hustle or something else. But if you're making minimum wage, yes, you can invest to start building the good habits of investing. So when you start making more money, you can invest more. But the primary focus or primary goal that you should have right now if you're making minimum wage is that you need to move from making minimum wage to making more money. Now, we're going to be kicking this video off with a $100 giveaway, one lucky winner each week of $25. And all you have to do for a chance to win is to leave a comment down below as we'll be selecting a random comment from one of the recent videos for the winner and then hop on over to my website, link down below in the description and sign up with your email address as that's how we will be announcing the winners every single week. Also, special shout out to all my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning to the channel once again. I really appreciate all the support. And if you're new here, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money. I talk about bank accounts and credit cards and everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel with all notifications on. And that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day on this channel. So there are two main problems with investing on minimum wage or making minimum wage while investing. And the first problem is that you're making minimum wage or if you're making minimum wage then you won't be able to invest any considerable amounts of money and that in turn won't allow you to get any considerable amounts of rewards from those investments that you're currently making now that is the first problem and this is why you need to start earning more money right now now the second problem with investing on a minimum wage is that if you don't invest while you're on a minimum wage then chances are when you start making a lot more money you wouldn't have developed the habits of investing and you won't start investing then and therefore you'll prevent yourself from ever making any money from investments so ideally although investing on minimum wage won't make you a lot of money you should still do it just for the sake of creating the good habits of consistently investing and that way when you start making more money you can increase the amount that you invest and that way you'll always be investing and that way your money will grow so here's the first thing that you need to do and this is an evaluation of your finances and the best and easiest and quickest way to do this is to simply find out how much money you make and you can just look at your paychecks or your bank account to see how much money you're making every single week or every month and I want you to look at the amount of money that you're actually paid after taxes you want to then look at what you've been spending your money on. And this should be really easy if you have a credit card or if you're using a checking account because those purchases and your entire spending should be linked to your debit card or your credit card. So you can easily go in and see what you've been spending money on. And this way you can see how much money you've been making and how much money you've been spending. And you can also see what you've been spending that money on. Now, from here on, you have to create a budget, which is just a simple document with all your expenses and your income. And you're going to make a note of all your monthly expenses every single month, which will be your rent, your utilities, your food, entertainment, or anything that you spend money on. You then subtract how much money you spend from your income. And hopefully this is less than what you're actually making. If it's more than what you're actually making, then you need to remove some stuff from this budget so you can start spending less. And you also need to increase your income by either getting a second job or starting a side hustle or finding a better day job or nine to five. Now, once you have this budget, you can then tweak your budget and you can start allocating a certain percentage off your income towards certain wants or needs. So you can now say, okay, I want 10% of my income to go towards my emergency fund and I want 10% of my income to go towards my savings account 
and I want another 10% of my income to go towards my investments. And then the other 70% will go towards my living expenses. And this doesn't have to be the exact way to allocate your funds. But this is just an example of you being able to tweak your budget in a way where you get to send your money or put your money into the things that you want to. Now, as we're on the topic of budgets, a very good checking account comes in handy right here. If you guys haven't already done so, be sure to check out the SoFi Money account or even the Chime account. And I have a link below or links below to these two accounts and you can get some free cash just for signing up and linking your direct deposits. And with these accounts, it's actually very easy because it groups your spending into categories. So it will tell you what you spent a certain percentage of your money on, for example, entertainment, or a certain percentage of your money on utilities, or a certain percentage of your money on food. And this really helps with budgeting and seeing what you're spending your money on. The SoFi app also has a vault feature where you can create several sub accounts for different purposes. So you could create a sub account for your savings. You could create one for your emergency fund. You could create one for investing. You could create one for your rent or your mortgage payments. You could create multiple sub accounts for every single thing that you could think of and need and this way you can better manage your money from the app. So the point here is that instead of going out there and buying books and trying to write down this budget, you can simply do it from one of these banking apps, which could also be your checking account as well. So now that we've covered budgeting and how to work that part out, let's go on into investing and how to invest or where to invest. And if you have a smaller amount of money to invest, then you really shouldn't be gambling with that money or you shouldn't be trying to pick individual stocks. Instead, what you should be doing is looking for a safe or a safer investing style and also not financial advice, but just my opinion. And this is where index funds come in and you can use an app like M1 Finance or Webull or any investment app that you like. And I have a links down below to some of these investment apps where you can get free stocks or free cash for signing up. And you can automatically set whatever percentage you want to invest every single month from your paycheck or every single week from your paycheck in these apps. And they will automatically take that money from your checking account and invest it every single month or every single week. Now, if you're wondering what you should invest in, you can look at an ETF like an S&P 500 ETF or one that tracks the S&P 500. And this way you can get the average returns, which is around 10% per year or between eight to 12% per year, which helps to beat inflation. It also gets you some good returns on your money. You can also reinvest any dividends you'll have from this investment, which could go towards making you even more money. Now I talk about investing a lot because it's very important and it is important for the average person because look at this very simple scenario here, right? If you put $1,000 in a savings account and you put $400 in that savings account every single month or $100 every single week, and you keep doing this over a span of 15 years, you would have saved around $72,000. Now that's great, you save $72,000 and you can use that money to purchase a car, or you can use that money for a deposit or down payment on your dream home. You could do a lot of things with $70,000 if you're the average person right now. However, if you invested the same amount of money and you were to contribute $100 to the investment account every single week, instead of just putting it in a savings account, you could get the average returns of 10% from an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. And in that same 15 years, you would have made over $97,000 in returns from that investment. So in 15 years, by simply saving $100 per week, you could have $72,000 or you could have $170,000 if you invest. So right now it doesn't seem like a big deal to invest some money every single week or every single month. But if you look at the long-term picture, investing every single week or every single month can add up to be a considerable amount of money that you're missing out on if you don't develop the good habits of investing right now. So this is how you can start investing on minimum wage. It's really simple. You don't need a degree in economics to figure this out. It's just simple math and just simple money management that is required here. And remember, most importantly, if you take nothing else away from this video, if you're currently making minimum wage, your number one problem is not investing. Your number one problem is actually your income. And so you need to do one of three things, right? You need to one, either find a better job or two, you need to find a second job or three, you need to find a side hustle. If you can do all three, then do all three. If you can do only two, then do two. But you definitely need to get your income up so that you can stop living on minimum wage. And in 2021, there's so many different things that you can do on the side without it costing you any money up front or a lot of your time. And you can still do this while you have your day job. And I have a playlist here on YouTube 
with almost 200 or over 200 videos talking about different side hustles, side gigs, and ways to make money and ways I've made money on the internet and also offline. So you guys can definitely check out that playlist as well and watch some of those videos and get some ideas to make some more money and get yourself away from making minimum wage. So with that said, I hope this video was very helpful and I hope this video motivates you to one, stop making minimum wage and go out there and do something else and make some more money. And secondly, to also start developing the good habits of investing right now so that in 10 to 20 years from now, you will be benefiting a lot from these small contributions that you could be making towards your investments right now. So with that said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content and you'd like to see more videos like this one. And also be sure to subscribe with all the notifications on and that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day on this channel. Also be sure to check all the links down below in the description, especially M1 Finance, where you can get $50 for free, limited time offer when you deposit $100 or more in your investment account. And also that link to Webull where you can sign up and deposit just $5. You can get two free stocks valid at up to $2,300. So be sure to take advantage of all the offers that I'm leaving down below and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one.